Hi, I'm Josh Wallace, and somebody made the mistake of giving me a video camera. I like to snowboard. I like plaid. And I work for People to People Ambassador Programs, which means every day I get to see the amazing things our student ambassadors do. For the next five days, I'm in Washington, D.C. for our presidential inauguration program. We'll get to learn about American history, see national monuments, and of course, attend the inauguration. Now, my job is made easy because of our wonderful teacher leaders, who spent all day today reviewing safety and making preparations for this program. While they did that, I went on an adventure of my own to learn a little bit about Dwight D. Eisenhower. I'm standing in the Eisenhower Plaza in front of the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Inside, there are thousands of photos, artifacts, and stories of Jewish and other groups that were persecuted by Nazi Germany during World War II. Now you might be wondering, why is Eisenhower's name affiliated with this plaza or with the museum? During World War II, Eisenhower was a general with the United States Army, and he was one of the first to witness the atrocities that happened all over Europe at various concentration camps. It's Eisenhower's belief and his mandate to people to people that through travel, building friendships and understanding, we can achieve world peace and prevent things just like the Holocaust from ever occurring again. Now, I couldn't take any video while inside the museum, but I did manage to get a few photos. Split into three levels, the museum takes guests through not only the Holocaust and Nazi occupation of Europe, but touches on persecution against the Jewish people since biblical times. As I continued through the exhibit, I came across this quote by Eisenhower. Things I saw beguard description. The visual evidence and the verbal testimony of starvation, cruelty, and bestiality were overpowering. I made the visit deliberately in order to be in a position to give first-hand evidence of these things, if ever, in the future, there develops a tendency to charge these allegations merely to propaganda. While some tragedies cannot be avoided, Eisenhower's quote and his legacy for people to people shows how we can be proactive in preventing these things from happening in the future. His vision for people to people is that people from all walks of life and backgrounds will come together, build friendships and understanding, and create a lasting worldwide peace. Now tomorrow's a big day. We've got student ambassadors arriving in the afternoon. We've got orientation, icebreakers, lunch, dinner, and a guest speaker. So be sure to look tomorrow for our next episode.